Hey guys, today on my channel, we're gonna talk about five smoothie secrets. My name is Dr. Anna Maria, and I am a holistic pediatrician. My specialty is eczema, and my mission is to help inspire, educate, and empower families to raise healthy kids in this unhealthy world. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to get your children to like smoothies, how to make smoothies, and a couple of tips and tricks that I've le learned, blah, blah, that I have learned along the way about 14 years ago, when my children were going to school, their breakfast considered, consisted of these foods, which are not even foods. They're just food coloring and sugar filled items. But I was determined to get rid of these and place their breakfast with this. But how did we get from sugar laden breakfast to a plant filled bounty? Let's start with tip number one. Smoothie tip number one, keep it simple. When I started on our journey, I was like, how to get the kids to love a smoothie? I started with milk, ice cream, ice cream, and strawberries. So I told my kids, we're having a strawberry milkshake for breakfast. They were overjoyed, especially because they knew they heard there was ice cream in there. So I started very small with small amounts. So let's say I started with two cups of whole milk and then one scoop of ice cream and one cup of strawberries and just gave them small amounts and before they would eat their cereal, they had to drink their smoothie. Now over time, I started filling their cups from here, bigger and bigger, and they started eating cereal less and less. So I didn't just chuck the cereal out in the trash, which that's what I wanted to do, but instead I was a yes person, and I would just give them, yeah, drink your smoothie, and then you can have your cereal. And then over time, I took the ice cream away and replaced it with vanilla yogurt, and then after several months of that, I started cutting the vanilla yogurt, which you guys already know from my previous videos, that is laden with sugar as well. So then I did half vanilla yogurt and half full fat Greek yogurt. And then after a few months more, I took out the vanilla yogurt altogether and just left it to milk, full fat Greek yogurt, and fruits. Now, how did the vegetable come in? Well, they were used to a little sweetness. We talked about the milk, the ice cream that we changed it to yogurt and then fruits. And then I added one leaf of spinach, one. And the smoothie stayed pink, therefore no one cared. And then I would add a second leaf of spinach the next day and the next day. And then I got to where it turned all green and then they were onto me. So I had to back it up a little bit, but spinach doesn't taste like anything. And if not put in a lot of quantity, it's actually going to keep the smoothie pink. If your child prefers pink instead of green. Bottom line, keep the ingredients simple. Don't overcomplicate it and get massive recipes. My current recipe today, it is complicated, but we've been doing it for 14 years. I started out with three ingredients, small quantities, and over time, I subbed out the ingredients, added some more stuff, and now we have the smoothie, the powerhouse smoothie that we have today is nothing compared to where we started, but we started with small steps to get everybody on board. Tip number two. Stop worrying about protein powders. I hear this all the time. Oh, I can't do smoothies because my kids don't like the protein powder. Which protein powder should I get? When it comes to children, children don't need as much protein. For example, toddlers need about 13 grams of protein a day. A scoop of traditional protein powders, 19 to 21 grams per scoop. There's no reason a toddler needs one giant scoop of traditional protein powder. A for a child who's four to nine years old means 19 grams of protein a day. A teenager is about 35. An older adolescent boy, especially it's 52 grams. So we're talking a very wide range of protein requirements. And instead of expensive protein powders, because we can go through all the time, but which ones do I recommend? Well, my favorite one that I started out with was actually Terra's whey protein. That is really expensive. It's fantastic. So what are some options? Well, avocados have protein. Peas, one cup of peas is 10 grams of protein. Three tablespoons of chia seed is five grams of protein. We have two tablespoons of zen basil is five grams of protein. One tablespoon of hemp hearts, 10 grams of protein. Not to mention that if you use 
dairy, you're gonna get about eight full fat dairy, eight grams of protein. How about full fat Greek yogurt? That could be 19 to 20 grams of protein. So already we're accumulating so much protein in our smoothies that the, the need for protein powder is really not necessary and is just causing more heartbreak and one more excuse of why you're not making smoothies. Smoothie tip number three, stay organized. When we started the smoothie extravaganza, we're a bit all over the place. And over the past 14 years, we have gotten really organized. And a couple weeks ago, my son was running out the door because he was running late. And so we timed my husband to see how fast he could make a smoothie. He can make a smoothie for three people in three and a half minutes. But what does organization look like? Check this out. Our refrigerator has a freezer drawer. So in the bottom freezer drawer, we have all things smoothie. So you can see that the only thing in this drawer is items needed for smoothies. Okay, this is where I'm filming and also this is our smoothie area. That's where we make smoothies. Right next to it, we have our blender that sits right in here, the Vitamix, thank you Costco. And you'll see here the basket full of smoothie goodies. What is in the handy dandy basket? Well, we have plan points max, which adds 20 plan points to your smoothie for my advanced folks. We have nut butter, which I forgot to discuss. Two tablespoons of nut butter is eight grams of protein. We have dates. Thank you, Costco, for a little added sweetness and fiber. We have local unfiltered raw honey for its antioxidant properties and some sweetness. In here, I we keep the hemp hearts or whichever seed we have going on at the time. Pro tip, alternate and vary your seeds to add variety to your gut microbiome. For this week, we are working through our hemp hearts, which I keep in the handy dandy container that is easily opened so I can chuck it into the blender. And lastly, we have organic wheatgrass, but that is already in our plan points. So that's just been sitting in our bin for a while. When people are under the weather, we had a little extra organic wheatgrass. And this is gluten-free because the gluten is in the kernel, not in the grass. We now use uh, organic quick oats that we put in the smoothies with water, which makes oat milk. Doing oats with water is significantly less expensive and no additives. Smoothie tip number four, get the kids involved. On a Saturday or on a Sunday when not much is going on, have a smoothie taste test. Have somebody come up with their recipes. My kids loved it when they were little. They would, we would have, everyone would have their little station. Everyone would do their concoction and we would all get to taste and judge and discuss. And the kids became involved in making smoothies, which then they weren't rejecting the various ingredients that I would sneak in. Smoothie tip number five and our final tip is if all else fails and you're like, I am too busy, too stressed, can't do it, go to Costco and grab this smoothie pack. It's $1.75 per smoothie pack. It has six plan points. It's enough to make this full glass, actually two full glasses with this. So all you have to add is some form of milk product that you like or a base, some liquid base, maybe a little bit of dates, maybe a little bit of honey, you good to go. I hope these tips were helpful and it gives you some exciting new ideas on how to get your kids to school with better breakfast, less sugar, more plants. For any concerns, how do you begin? How do we really do it? Don't forget, you can grab a copy of my awesome book, Healthy Kids in an Unhealthy World, or you can watch one of my videos here on how to choose the right yogurt for your smoothie. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me comments and suggestions. My name is Dr. Anna Maria Temple. I'm your holistic pediatrician on call.